WebSharp Pro is designed to be the fastest and easiest way to create gorgeous exports from your layered master files. Simply choose the size template you want to work with. I'm going to export for Facebook here. Click Sharpen, and in just a few seconds, we'll have an image which is resized, cropped if needed, color managed for the web, and sharpened to look beautiful on Facebook. And WebSharp Pro can do so much more than just simple sharpening. If I go into the advanced settings, I can apply a custom watermark with a range of options. I can go and add a border with a blurry edge. And let's switch over to a 16 by 9 crop. We'll make this be 1600 pixels wide. We'll allow an interactive crop here. So when I click on sharpen, it asks how I want to crop, and I can just move into position to make sure I get the bottom of that rock. Click to accept it, and it's going to proceed to finish off our 16 by 9 crop with watermark and the border. And you can see here, we get this beautiful blurry border that complements the image and a watermark to help protect and promote my brand. And if you're doing a lot of custom options like this and you want to save them with your work, you can use the crop overlay feature. When I do that, it's going to import my favorite crops that I've already saved. And here you can see I've got an Instagram post for landscape showing me the crop. And I'm going to move this into position like so to make sure I get the bottom of that rock. And I've got an Instagram post for square, which I think looks fine as is. Aside from giving me a preview of what's going on here, I can actually save this with the image. These are just layers. I can turn them off save them with my master file. And anytime I go back in here, I can access my original crops or even both crops and just process both of them at once to get this export from my image. So I've got my Instagram post for landscape. And the crop also has a request for no watermark and no blurry border. So the crop itself can access these advanced options and they're custom to the file. So there's a lot of power within the crop overlays and things really start to get powerful when we combine that all with the batch processing. So let's clear these out just for clarity. And the way that batch works is if there is an overlay template in the file, it will process according to these instructions. But if there isn't an overlay template, then it'll use whatever quick export we have set up here. And I'm gonna go request Facebook for my unmarked file. So when I say batch, I've got some that have overlays and some that don't. So the ones that don't, are going to use the Facebook template and then everything's going to get processed all in one go. So you can see here, I'm starting to export for Facebook with my blurry border and watermark. I've got a vertical image because the template is dynamic and it will adjust to portrait or landscape either way. I've got one that's using auto border. So instead of the blurry border, it's got a nice solid color that's been automatically picked to harmonize with the image overall. I've got another template which rotates 90 degrees. So my image of course is not sideways, in the original master, but the output has been turned sideways because this will match a phone perfectly. And then the user just turns their phone sideways to view the whole thing full screen on a phone. Or I've got, for example, a more advanced Instagram story. I've got an image that in the story format would not fit because it's a vertical format on Instagram. But what I can do is export multiple slices like this. And so the user can actually slide through these and dynamically move through the image in the story format. We're just scratching the surface. Head over to gregbensphotography.com to learn more about WebSharp Pro.